Thai cuisine is one of the very popular uh, cuisines that we have in Hawaii and of the cuisine one of the really popular dishes that people always order when they go to restaurants is Thai papaya salad and so we thought we'd make that here today. Um, it's a pretty simple dish to make. It's even easier if you have certain pieces of equipment but still doable if you don't have them. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to talk about is the papayas here. We you want to use green papayas and usually they're long type papayas and if you can't find those the regular solo papayas are perfectly good to use. You just want to make sure you're looking for one that's really green. And so I have one here. This is a good one to use. The important thing is it has to be hard, rock solid, and very deep green. If it starts to have like a yellowish color break, you're going to probably end up with a more ripe papaya than you want. So it has to be very, very dark green. Now to start with, you're going to go ahead and peel them. And I've started peeling the outside with the peeler and I'll just go ahead and sort of finish the peeling so you can see how that happens. But you just take your peeler and you just run it across here and you're just going to get off all that hard outer skin. And then you're going to we're going to go ahead and we're going to grate this. So what happens is with my mandolin that I have and if you don't have one of these I really I mean it, to me it's sort of a must have. They're, they're, they're pretty inexpensive and you can find them uh, you know, in Asian stores and you can get kitchen supply stores but you're going to set it on the julienne or the very thin cut and you're going to hold, I hold the papaya with a, with a paper towel just like this and then I'm going to go ahead and grate it all the way up until I get to the, the, the center where I start to see the seeds and then I'll rotate it and grate it and rotate it and grate it. So it goes basically just like this. I'm going to rotate it and you can see here that we have really just really nicely finely grated papaya that's good to go. Now the reason why it's also important to use a very green papaya is if it's starting to get too ripe it's going to be too soft to grate with the mandolin. Now for those of you that do not have a mandolin it's still a very doable dish. What you want to do is use your knife and you're going to cut very thin slices off of the papaya like that and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to cut them into strips. So then you have your handmade strips in the same way that you would have for using the mandolin. So now we have our papaya. I have eight ounces here, which is roughly, this is roughly uh, one and a half papayas that I used. And then we're going to go ahead and start making the dressing. So I have here a mortar and pestle and we're going to go ahead and pulverize some ingredients together. If you don't have one, that's totally fine too. We just chop all the ingredients up, put it in a bowl. But I wanted to show you how um, you could do this and uh, uh, what gets even the better development of flavor. So I have garlic that I'm going to go ahead and just rough chop to get the process started. And then I'm going to add this here. I have some dried shrimp that I'm also going to add in. And again, I want to sort of just rough chop this to get the process going so that it goes quicker. That's going to go into the mortar here or pestle. And then we have chilies. Because we're in Hawaii, you know, Hawaiian chili peppers work great. But you can use serranos, you can use Thai chilies. Um, you can use jalapenos. So really whatever chilies you can get your hands on is what you can use and just go ahead and adjust the uh, how much you put into the, the heat level that you want. So I like spicy so I'm going to put one of these in there. Now this dish you'll see in restaurant menus typically in the appetizer section but in Thailand, it's eaten as a main course as well. Um, it can be eaten as a side dish, um, but it's also great, you know, paired with with chicken, pork, 
fish. It's light, it's crisp, and um, it has relatively low amount of fat. So um, on the good for you spectrum, it's pretty decent. Now what I'm gonna do here is I am working all of this together to make a paste. And the key here is you wanna really get all of this incorporated well. And the reason this is a good tool to use is because it's really gonna get all of the oils out of both of these items and it's gonna bring it together in a way that really, really captures all of the flavor. And you, I'm gonna just keep going on this until I get a really, really nice, uh, a really even nice sort of a mash of, of, of pepper and garlic and dried shrimp. Okay, so we've got uh, the pepper, we've got the garlic, we've got the shrimp. It smells really good, well, it's well blended together. It's really mashed very nicely, all of it's come together. We're gonna go ahead and finish the dressing now. So I have a, a mixing bowl here. I'm gonna go and put, the, put all of this into the mixing bowl. And then we're gonna add some uh, sugar. Now I'm using brown sugar and, and the classic recipes typically call for palm sugar. You know, you can get palm sugar if you want, um, but I think it works great with light, light brown sugar and this is something that's, you know, most people have in their home so it's easy an easy find. Then we have um, lime juice we're gonna put in here. Go ahead and squeeze that in there. The important thing about this, this salad is that you wanna have heat, you wanna have garlic, you wanna have some of that um, meatiness that the, the, the shrimp, and we're gonna add some fish sauce in here is gonna give you. We've got a little bit of sweetness, and then you're gonna have the texture of the crunch from the papaya. And, and these papaya, because they're just a little bit starting to, to ripen just a little bit. It's gonna give us a little bit of residual sugar, which will be nice in the dish. So here I got my lime juice. I've got my sugar. We've got the, the paste that we've made and now I'm adding fish sauce. And then I wanna just go ahead and stir this until the sugar's dissolved and everything's come together. So it smells, this is a very, I mean, when, you, when I think of Thai food, there's, there's a couple ingredients that make the dish come together in my opinion. It's lime juice, it's fish sauce, it's the garlic, and it's the pepper, uh, the pepper heat. So when you're smelling this, to me, it smells exactly like what I would per perceive or picture when I think of Thai food. We're gonna go ahead and add the, uh, the papaya now. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna lightly toss it together so all of the flavors can marry. The thing about this salad is when you're, when you're gonna make this, you kinda wanna go ahead, put it together. If you wanna prep this ahead, I would shred the papaya, keep the dressing separate, and then put it together right before I served it. The reason why is once you combine the sugar and acid uh, with the papaya, the sugar is gonna start to pull the moisture out of the the papaya here and then it, it's gonna over time start to make it soggy, softer, and wetter. So this is really best tossed right when you need it and then served. So this is looking good, it's nice and shiny. I'm gonna go ahead and taste some because we wanna, you know, when we're cooking it's important to, to taste as you go and season as you go and that's one of the big secrets of how the better cooks and the better chefs make good food is they're not just guessing, they're, they're cooking, they're tasting, they're adjusting because this is a process and you want to make sure that you're always sort of in touch with the process as you go along. And see this tastes good to me, it's got some good heat but I think it needs a little bit more acidity and I'm going to put just a little bit more fish sauce and then I think we'll be good to go. Now. This is the base, and there are many things you can do when you want, if you want to dress it up, you want to make it a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I have a, a tomato here. This is a Roma tomato, and 
I want to go ahead and just for some color, I want to add some color to this. So I'm going to take this tomato, I'm going to peel it, and we're going to go ahead and dress it up a little bit. So I'm going to take my, my tomato here, just really quickly, I'm going to cut some very thin strips, whoops. And then we're going to put that in the salad. To give it some color. And the other thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to add cilantro to this too to, to even to bring to bring more character and more depth to to this to this salad. So we've got some really nice cilantro here. And again, the thing about cilantro which is great is, you know, this is considered a tender herb. So you can use the entire thing here. Don't just use the top. I would use the stem as well as the leaf, okay? So I'm going to take some of this. We're going to rough chop it. I'm going to save some of this for garnish. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the salad. We're going to mix this in. And now we started with a very good base salad and now we're adding some things to it. Now it's getting a little more colorful. It's got some more character into it. And then we're going to go ahead and plate it. So I have a plate here and we'll just go ahead and nicely mound it. Again, once you've got the flavor, you've got flavor now, we've got color. We've got some dynamic presentation we're going to go for. We're going to go for height here. Okay, so I'm putting in the bowl, and I got a blue bowl, so the contrast is really nice. We'll, we'll mound it here. Now, when you're serving food, the important thing too, once you've made beautiful food, and you've got great color, and you've got great texture, presentation is important. So, you know, I'm going to try to get some nice height in here. I don't want to push it down too much. I want to try to get some really pretty, um, some patterns going here. We're going to add some of the, uh, the cilantro that we talked about here. Put some on the plate, and then we have we have roasted peanuts, and I'm gonna just sprinkle some on there. And this is really it's making me hungry, but here we go. This is so we have uh, here we have is uh, our version of uh, Thai papaya salad. We've got the papaya, tomatoes, we've got the fish sauce, we've got cilantro, lime juice, and I'm gonna taste some of this here with all of my additions of cilantro and my tomatoes. And I'll put a little bit of uh, some peanuts on here. Mm. This is awesome. Make this for your next get together and you're gonna be the hit of the party. For more recipes like this, visit us at foodland.com.